tables to design web pages. You can still do that if you don't want to use CSS. However, tables are now used in web design to include spreadsheet information and things of that nature as we discussed earlier in this course. So in this lesson, we're going to cover how to add a table to your document. So you can see we're in design view here, starting out with another blank HTML document. To create a table in your HTML document, first click on the place in the document where you want to insert the table. And we're just going to insert it at the top of the document. Now go up to Insert, Table. The table dialog box will open and give you your different options. So we're going to enter the attributes for our first table. We want to make it three rows in width, so we'll enter three. And we'll also enter three for the number of columns. For the table width, we'll enter 200. We want this to be measured in pixels, so we'll make sure we have pixels selected in the drop-down menu. Enter one for border thickness. One is a thin border. If we wanted it thicker, we'd enter a higher number. Enter zero in the cell padding box. Cell padding adds white space within a cell, with equal white space on top, bottom, left, and right. And enter zero for cell spacing. This is the space between cells. We don't want a header, so we'll leave that on none. If we wanted to, we could also add a caption and a summary of the table's contents. However, for the purpose of this lesson, let's leave those blank. Then click OK. You can now see the table that has been created in our document. You can drag the border of any row or column to resize it. If you look at the table, you'll see the table width in the table selector, which is indicated by green lines. This appears when the table is selected or when an insertion point is in the table. Now look next to widths. These are arrows for the table header menu and the column header menus. These menus can be used for quick access to table commands. As you see here. To disable or enable the widths and menu displays, go to View, Visual Aids, and Table Widths. And if you want to deselect the table, simply click outside of it. Adding text to a table is very simple. You simply click where you want the text and start typing. You can also format the cells within a table just as you can format the table. You can also format the cells within the table just as you can format the table, and we'll learn to do that in just a minute. To format cells, click within a cell, and then go to the property inspector. Use hors and vert to position the text within the cell. Using the hors field, you can position it left, center, and right. Using the vert field, you can position it top, middle, bottom, and baseline. You can enter your width for the cell in the W field and a height for the cell in the H field. In the BG field, you can set the background color for your cell. Now we're going to set the properties for our tables. And before you can do this, make sure your table is already selected. So now that our table is selected, go to the Property Inspector panel. The Properties Inspector allows us to edit the table properties. As you can see, the Table Property Inspector allows you to customize the following attributes. ID, rows and columns, width, cell padding and cell spacing, alignment, border, CSS class. You can also clear the column widths and heights, convert table widths to pixels, convert table widths to a percent of a page, and you can select a source. Now if you wanted to insert an image or a graphic into the table, first click the cell where you want to insert the image, and then go to Insert Image. You'll be able to select that, and it'll place that right within the table. And a note to CC users, to do this you'll go to Insert Image Table. 